So now let's see how that all the things help us. We are now ready to evaluate our new activity, product three. Let's see how to do it. My original program is here, so you have seen it many, many times. Our new program is here. I do have some new thing. I have a new column, new variable, 8x3 as my objective in my objective function and this thing in my uh, coefficient matrix. So now after I solve my original problem, I do have an optimal tableau. I do have an optimal basis, right? I know the optimal thing to do in my original problem is to set x1 and x2 as my basic variables. Also, I produce both products. They are basic variables. And once I have that, I now have a new decision variable x3. Initially, it's certainly zero. I don't produce anything before I find it optimal to do something, right? So initially it's zero, initially it's non-basic. So what I should do is that if I want to solve the new problem, I may start from the basis, which is just my optimal basis from the previous problem. And my set of non-basic variables should be expanded. Previously it's S1 and S2, now it's X3. S1, S2, okay? I know I can do this because setting X3 to be zero is of course positive. And now this new B and N may allow me to obtain the initial tableau for the new problem. And then I don't need to go from the beginning. So we know this is our initial, uh, optimal tableau from the original problem, right? I don't really need to calculate all those AB inverse whatever. I actually only need to find values for this missing column. All others must be identical to this one, right? I just need to do some calculation to get this. Well, how to do that? This part, this particular number must have something to do with that CB transpose AB inverse AN minus CN transpose, right? I do know what should be here for non-basic variables. I just need to do some calculation. I also have the formula for the bottom one, A, B, transpose, A, N, right? So if I want to do that, for this particular column J, I do have A, B, inverse, A, J as the numbers. So A, B, inverse is here. A, J is here. I'm going to get negative one and one as the two numbers here, negative one and one. And then for the reduced cost, it's going to be some part of CB transpose AB inverse AN minus C transpose N. So I'm going to focus on column J instead of all the columns, okay? All I need to do is to CB transpose AB inverse, uh, AB inverse AJ is here which is something you just calculated okay something you just calculated minus your cj which is eight uh, that's how you get your negative seven so once you do these very simple calculations you are going to get to here and once you have this well you know how to do it right now you enter this one and move on and move on that's how you may easily evaluate whether you should pay attention to your new activity so if I want to do that, I can focus on this new column, okay? This new column, I have the numbers negative seven, negative one, and one. Uh, I don't need to go from the beginning. I can do it directly from my optimal tableau. As long as I know previously what's my B star N and previously what's my N star, or, uh, B star and N star on the basic set and non-basic set. Once I have this guy, I know, okay, I should enter, and then I carry some uh, iterations, and then I move to an optimal solution. Either you do it with Tableau, or actually here. What you should do is that previously, in the previous solution, B contains X1 and X2, right? So N, originally, it contains S1 and S2. And because I have a new variable, I know X3 should be Consider non-basic at the beginning. 
So actually, if I know x3 should enter and this particular guy, x2, should leave, what I should do is that I'm going to x2 should leave. This should become x3 and this should become x2. And once I have this replacement, I have new b, new n, I can do all those a, b, inverse, a, n, blah, 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 to get a new tableau. And then I do the same thing again to get a new tableau. So anyway, there is a very quick way to do the evaluation and all the remaining things. I just need to take a look at all the numbers in the new column, and then I know whether I should stop directly or whether I should move forwards, okay? So this is exactly omitting the first few iterations from the very beginning to the initial tableau, and I can save a lot of time. In this particular example, we just saved two iterations, but I guess you may agree that if we are solving a real problem with thousands of variables, millions of constraints, from the beginning to the first uh, optimal solution may require thousands of iterations. In that case, this can save you really a lot of time. Not to mention that if you actually go through a very difficult step of two-phase method, if originally you have some um, greater than or equal to or equality constraints, the idea I just mentioned can save you even more time. Okay, so give you a quick summary. We have learned how to evaluate a new activity or a new decision variable or a new column. As long as you have that, you first solve your initial original problem and you don't need to do it from the beginning. Your optimal tableau for your original problem and the optimal basis for your original problem are quite useful. All you need to do is to take a look at your new decision variable and check its reduced cost. This can be done easily if you are using the right formula. If you are having some ideas of capital B, capital N, CB transpose blah, 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 in mind, okay? And if needed, run some iterations to get to an optimal solution. So this may seem to be a little bit uh, weird or interesting, but if you go through one or two examples by yourself, you will see what's that. And this task is some kind of sensitivity analysis, which is also called a what-if analysis. So you may imagine that this is very typical in practice. Your company is doing a lot of things, successful things every day. But somehow one day some people ask you, well, what if we start to do a new thing? We want to see what if we have a new option. Does that really generate more benefit to us? So to test how sensitive our optimal solution is, we are facing some small changes, okay? We don't want to solve the whole problem. We want to find a new thing as quickly as possible. We already have a good starting point, which is the optimal solution from previous problems. We should do some small modifications to get to our new optimal solutions. That's sensitivity analysis. And what we just went through is one typical example, evaluating a new activity.